Maria Kravinsky. Parla italiano. You speak English? A little. Uh, Deutsch? Yeah, naturally. Ah, yes. You come from Dresden. Malève number 803 from Budapest as London. Dear Edith, here I am in Paris, the city of our youthful dreams. Nothing has changed. They still didn't want to let me in. The immigration officer checked every page of my passport, even the empty ones. Is it my face that irritates them? Or just the stale smell of Eastern Europe? They make me feel like a man entering a drawing room with dog shit on his shoes. And who was the only one they stopped at customs? Why do they always pick on me? Do we still show signs of panic at the sight of officials in uniform? Music? Music. Maestro, Maestro Santo, welcome to Paris. Mr. Picabia, it's very good of you to meet me. This delightful man who met me said, what's it like now to be free of the Iron Curtain? Are we really free? Shall we ever escape to Paris together, with you locked in your medicine and me in my music? Anyway, work starting, and here, in the home of the great Ignazio Sarto. Imagine me on his podium. Wish me luck, Edith. Miss Malikov, may I present to you Maestro Santo, who we have awaited with such burning impatience. Countess Malikov is head of our secretariat, so she is the guardian of all our little secrets. Malikov. Pleased to meet you. She doesn't like to use her title, although she's a real Romanov, related to the Tsars. Mr. Jean Garber, who has been our chief secretary for 25 years. 29. <laughs> 29 years. And Mr. Garber hates all forms of dictatorship. But this is a fourth he has had to endure. First Admiral Horthy, then Hitler, then Stalin, then me. <laughs> Mr. Gabriel is also Hungarian. What was that about? He told him I left Hungary in 56 after the revolution. Oh yes, terrible times. That's when I made my final break with the Communist Party. <laughs> Opening night of Tannhäuser will be broadcast live by satellite to 27 countries around the world. This is good for our sponsor, Eurogreen, and good for us too. As long as there aren't any delays or problems. Why should there be any problems? We must all work together to ensure that Tannhäuser is a triumph for Maestro Santo. Mr. Isaac Partney, our repetitor. Yes, <laughs> Miss Malikov, the bottle, please. Maestro. Yes, Mr. Mathieu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I need a clear hand oh. for my work. So. Oh, please, just a toast to welcome you into the family of the Opera Europa. Tannhäuser? Tannhäuser. Tannhäuser. <laughs> we want to meet our shepherd, Mademoiselle Monique Angelo, one of the most gifted young singers. Mr. Stephen Taylor. Our reserve, Tannhäuser. You may have heard of him at the Met. Hi. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Taylor. Steve. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Our Venus, Maria Kravetsky, the new Czech star discovered by Karajan. Yes, but I'm from Poland. They say Beschenge. And this is our uh, Tannhäuser, Herr Schneider from Dresden, also discovered by Karajan. I have a lot of your recordings, Mr. Schneider. Beautiful. Good morning. Unfortunately, Miss Karin Anderson herself will not be here until next week. She made a special arrangement with Picabia. They are old friends. I was not consulted. What can I do? 
Our stage manager at the entire Thomas Our Probman. Oh, may I present Hans Dietrich van Binder, our director and choreographer. Please show us the set designs. Of course. In his back. Hartburg. The hall. Where the singing match takes place. It'll look fantastic. Yes, I see. Very interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, just two words. I, I think most of you speak English, yes? Yes, of course. First, I want to say how much I'm looking forward to working with some of the finest singers in the world. You know, my only concern, my only passion, is to create with you a beautiful tenor. What? This great masterpiece speaks to us today. It is about a sensitive, creative singer, like all of you. A singer who is torn between two separate worlds, between Venus and Elizabeth, sexuality and spirituality. Spirituality. Ah, spirituality. His desires and his principles. This is the Opera Europa. Here you can be misunderstood in six different languages. Edith, I don't think anyone understands a word I'm saying. For making such a show. Will you sing, Wolfram? Thank you. My dear friends, we have a great deal of work to do. I ask of all of you only what I ask of myself, a complete dedication to this great work, which is not just uh, about a singer who lived several hundred years ago, but about you and me. How we should live, with whom and why, what's important in our lives, Venus or Elizabeth. These are not easy questions. So, we must be disciplined. Without hard work, there are no miracles. <laughs> and after all, our job is one of the most beautiful in the world. We can enjoy ourselves every day and still get paid for it. Not enough! <laughs> Perhaps we can start with uh, the Pilgrim scores from Act 3, Scene 1. Crescendo 6 before Fortissimo, please. Vas-y, dis-lui. What's the problem? Five of our colleagues have to leave in a few minutes, Maestro. They have a meeting with the management. Which five? <laughs> Please, 
Gentlemen, please. Why do you need to talk to the management? In the first place, we are badly underpaid, and in the second place, we are working too many hours. And now our lives are in danger. It's the computer, Maestro. It controls everything, even the safety curtain. How can we play beautiful music in such conditions? We want the safety curtain taken off the computer. Yes, I understand. Then please allow me to make representation to the management on your behalf. Perhaps that will help. Long live Hungary! <laughs> Just remember, I'm only your guest here. Now, let's play and gain some strength for the strike. Excuse me, Maestro. Excuse me. My name is Jean-Luc Tushko. I represent the union members of the chorus. We also are very happy to be working with a man who comes from a state where art is taken seriously, or used to be. But may I suggest that rehearsals start at 11 o'clock and not at 10. In return, we agree to go without our half-hour coffee break. All right, I'll think about it. Thank you, Maestro. We knew you were a great man. Now, the program scars. girl with me. She wanted to meet you so much. She'll just sit quite in the corner. Come. So, what would you like me to do? How about Act One? Okay. Oh, how wonderful. you for now to pay more attention to your feelings and less to your technique. We all know how beautifully you sing. Try to express the passionate feelings of a woman in love. Oh, yes, I understand a woman in love. Not a goddess. No, no, no. Not only a goddess. A woman like you. How oh, wonderful. It's how I've always dreamt of singing Venus with passion, with despair, attacking the man who's leaving me, who I want above all others. What would he do? Mr. Schneider is so much smaller than I am. I would like to be close to him, but perhaps he can wear high heels. Now sing high heels and she got us. I'd Tannhäuser, not stupid modern person. Let's just sing. And if we pay attention to the score and... Ah, Mr. Delsa. Forgive me, Maestro. Airport Leonardo da Vinci. Strike. Strike. Ma Grosetta. Just a Come va? <laughs> Did you know I'd be singing in Paris? Sì, certo, ti seguo ovunque. Ma 
Maestro. Maestro, we must speak. Now, Mr. Schneider? Here? Other places they watch me. Please, to help. I want to go away from big hotel to little hotel. Do you have a problem? Nine. I'm fine, nice little hotel in Boulogne. Cheap. Better to me. I mean, Boulogne is far away, even by metro. The Renault factory is in Boulogne. And do you want to live near the car works? Maestro, you understand. You, from Hungary, we too, from the ex-East. Yes, and? What is this man talking about? <sighs> Little hotel in Boulogne, cheap. I get big hotel money, difference, my money. I have my real job, garage. They discovered me in factory calls years ago. Ignacio hard to say, Schneider, good singer, very good. But who knows how long singing is no safe business. So I keep my garage. My wife is boss now. We spray cars. And Renault, Citroën, Peugeot car paint is cheap here. Here I buy paint for many, many years, you understand? Listen, then. they regard you very highly here. We all regard you very highly. You're a great singer, Mr. Schneider. I'll talk to Miss Monica about your hotel. Thank you, Maestro. You're a great man. All right, Miss Angelo. Maestro. Maestro, I am I'm sorry, but there is no time left to raise Miss Angelo. No time? This is an opera where to take all the time we need. Are you in a hurry? It's six o'clock. I can't afford to break the house rules, or they might fire me. Please, Maestro. I'm only a Russian Jew, and I don't have French citizenship yet. No one will know you stay longer, Mr. Partner. Miss Angelo is here. She can report me. I'm sure she wouldn't. But if she is asked, she may not want to lie. And if I am asked, then there could be trouble for her. Sorry, Maestro. I think you have some money for me. May I have your name again? Santo. I'm the conductor of Tannhäuser. Spelt? S-Z-A-N-T-O. I'm sorry, there's no cash note here. No, 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 no. That's impossible. I was promised half of my fee at the start of rehearsals. There must be something. Wait a moment, please. Oh, yes, there is something for you after all. Mr. Gabor says your work permit hasn't arrived yet, so unfortunately he can't sign the cash note. Perhaps you should come back tomorrow. Thank you. Forgive me, Maestro. But... Yes, Thomas? I wondered if you would audition me sometime. I want to be a singer. I think I could be. You know, I came here because I love music, to listen to the great artists. Yes, and... of course. I'd be delighted, but not today. But we'll find time, excuse me. Ask you something? Yes. Which month were you born in? Does this make any difference? You look just like my brother, that's all. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everything here is confusing. Now some group wants to blow us up because our sponsors are apparently destroying the rainforest. You could be the first widow whose husband fell during a Wagner performance. It's really no joke, he did. You should stay behind the camera, okay? What are you doing? Ah, uh, it's okay, Monsieur Santo. We are with a TV company. Just carry on. They don't know, but I was born during bombings. And I learned to live with the son of gunfire. So it isn't easy this day to distract me from my purpose. <laughs> Good. Let's play the overture. I'm sorry. 
As if we agreed yesterday to let it start almost imperceptibly from nothing to build it up, no? We didn't agree to anything, Maestro. We weren't even here yesterday. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. Members of the orchestra work according to a schedule agreed between the union and the management. We weren't on duty yesterday. Ah, yes, I see. So it was pointless to have a rehearsal yesterday. And it will be equally pointless to talk about my ideas today, because nobody knows who will be here tomorrow. But we do know. We are very organized. It's all in the schedule. Will you be here? Well, I don't know. I haven't looked at my schedule. I came here for the sake of music, but we can only do justice to the music if we love it. If we work together in a disciplined and organized way. Otherwise, there's simply no point in continuing. Who is your union representative? Yana. 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 Servus. Servus. Hát te, hogy kerülsz ide? Hogy hogy már 12 éve itt vagy. All right, we'll uh, speak about this later, but uh, I beg you to let me work, please. Maria. Hi, Stefano. Hello. Ah, bonjour. Bonjour. Enchanté. Carl, may I introduce to you Maestro Santo? Mm hmm. Ça va. I ask you to forgive me for arriving so late. I've been ill, but I want to, uh, <laughs> I want to prove to you, here and now, that I've been preparing for this role, even on my sickbed. <sighs> Whole area. Wonderful rehearsal, Colin. You were magnificent. Magnificent. I'm sorry, sir. They don't love music. Good question. Only three weeks before opening night, I have a difficult leading lady and a chorus that thinks only of its stomach. Only one friendly face. You remember Jana, our friend from the Music Academy? Imagine, Edith, she's the trade union representative here, just as she was in Budapest. 
If they refuse to dance, why waste time with them? Paris is full of wonderful young dancers. Let's use them. I can't wait. I can't work in such a slapdash manner. You invited me because you said you wanted something new, something brave and challenging. But achieving that with classical dancers takes a lot of work. El ejército del Ebro, rumba la rumba la rumba la la. El ejército del Ebro, rumba la rumba la rumba la la. Una noche el río pasó, ay Carmela, ay Carmela. Una noche el río pasó, ay Carmela, ay Carmela. Do you know who wrote that? I did. It's a song of the Spanish barricades. I wrote it when I was a boy of 18, fighting for the right of working people in the Civil War. Do you really think the father of that melody, a socialist, could fire his employees just because they exercise the right to strike? This is a democracy here. We don't order people about. I ask you to be patient and rehearse something else until the dispute with the dancers is resolved. What about the orchestra's problems? Poverty is a fact of life in India, Maestro Santo. Not in the opera Europa. Between ourselves, I had a lot to endure because of you. A virtually unknown conductor from Hungary. But I have been in difficult situations before. Imagine what it was like in the cells of the Gestapo. You know about the Gestapo? Yeah. You don't need to tell me, but I know the person who encouraged you to come here and complain. I understand he is your compatriot. But remember, the person we are talking about, and who I myself like personally, was a member of the Communist Party in the worst Stalinist times. Old habits die hard. Good day, Maestro Santo. Dear, why aren't you him with every trifling matter? I am the one to come to. Mr. Gabor, we are ready. Is she coming out or not? Scheming and plotting, scheming and plotting. Edith, it's all they ever do here. What did he tell you? <laughs> Never mind. For an ex-communist, he makes a wonderful autocrat. I think that's the one. This one? You really think so? Yeah, sure, it's perfect. You know, he tells everyone that he, Picabia, discovered you. <laughs> it's a lie. He didn't even want to hear about you at first. I, I had to fight for you. You weren't original enough. That's what he said. No, I prefer this one. You're right. It's much better. Original. What do you think of those sets? Exactly. What have they got to do with Wagner? I love Wagner despite the Nazis. But he turned in his grave if he saw all this. We'll have a scandal. Oh, Ignacio Sarto. He would never have tolerated it. Oh, oh sorry. How's oh. this? <laughs> well, do we go on working? No, you're wrong. I prefer this one after all. I told you that's the best. been cancelled again. It really isn't fair. But I have a suggestion, if you don't mind. We could have a rehearsal at my place. There is a piano and it's not very far away. So please. I hope you 
like Chinese food. It's not very Wagnerian. You know what I think? I think the Venus Cave is just like society today. Full of selfish, pleasure-seeking people, and that's how I'd show it. I'd hold up a mirror to the stupid audience. Please, sit down. It's such a terrible world. Nobody cares anymore about the poor, the homeless, the hungry. All they care about is themselves. No wonder Tannhäuser wants to escape. I'm fed up too. Mm, oh, please, just to celebrate our meeting. It isn't often one meets someone who sees things exactly as you do. Just a class. We must continue to rear us. What I said, it's such a terrible world. Just like the Opera Europa. Still run by the old guard. Picabia and his comrades from the Spanish Civil War, Mr. Gabor and his old friends from Auschwitz, the resistance or wherever. And of course, they've all forgotten their old dreams now. Picabia is only interested in money. Ah, and laying every woman with big breasts and a fat arse, which means I'm out of the competition. And Mr. Gabor only chases boys, so it doesn't matter to either of them whether I can sing or not. No, but you, you sing beautiful and wonderful. You only say that because you're different. You're an artist. But it makes me frightened for you. You're so vulnerable. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to kiss you. To protect you with my kiss from all those snakes and scorpions. May I? Ooh, voila. Edith, you won't believe this, but the working hours are so short here. You even have to go to the singer's apartment to rehearse. It's incredible. Bello. Bello. Provaglielo. Maestro, may I ask you a favor? Can I measure your shoulders in your arms? It's for a jumper. Stefano said the collar will suit you much better. It's a good one for Stefano, no? Oh, I've knitted quite a lot over the years. The one he's wearing now, I made in Verona during Aida. Would you mind standing up? Please, just for a moment. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Maestro. Good morning. Thank you. Maestro, I know voice. The metro, much wind, too much wind. Uh, no can rehearse, impossible. I sing, I always. Today, America and my sing. Yes, all right, Mr. Schneider, sit down. Miss Malikov can arrange for you to see a doctor. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Taylor. Sorry, Steve. Will you be good enough to go on stage today? Sure. Thank you. Steve, perhaps you could move to the back of the stage. Sure. My son better from there. Okay, this is how I did it at La Scala. Thanks. Thank you. Just a little forward, please. Thank you. There. And maybe get down on one knee. Covent Garden. Sorry. Uh, Covent Garden. We didn't. We did it like this in Covent Garden. But it worked great. It worked great. What about if he crossed the stage from right to left forward, all through the Roman recital? Steve, we have a new idea. I think it's wonderful. Okay. We'd like you to come forward from left back to right front, uh -huh. moving yeah. quite close to the audience. Right. Do you understand? Yeah, absolutely. God, oh, oh, I love doing it this way. <laughs> I feel the audience getting closer, the tension growing. Jesus, when we did it this way in Vienna, it was amazing. How about turning your back to begin with? Turning round slowly. The Met. <laughs> maybe we should ask Mr. Schneider how he did it in Dresden. I mean, I never got the chance to sing in the German Democratic Republic, and now it's too late. Well, he mocks me. Me too. No, 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 I'm not mocking you, Mr. Schneider. I'm kind of interested. I mean, you ought to know more about Wagner since you're German. You see? He mocked me. Steve, never mind. Stay where you are for the moment. I'd like to listen to you first. Silence, s'il vous plaît. Silence, tout le monde. Répétition. Ah. 
What's wrong? Members of the chorus are chewing gum. I can hear them. Ladies and gentlemen, doing real souls, please try not to eat or drink anything. Wait, wait. Who says we were eating anything? Nobody was eating anything. It's an insult. Just because that American thinks he can bomb Libya or invade Panama anytime he likes, doesn't mean he can push us around. Nobody is pushing you around, Mr. Tusk. He is that American. Do I know? And do you see what I have to put up with all the time? Can you shut him up, please? Tushkawa, you yeah. are crazy. He has all kinds of contacts in the Socialist Party. It would be suicide. Do we just have to put up with him? Here, too. Democracy is a hard game, Mr. Santo. I can't stand this democracy of yours. Art is order. Gentlemen. As I seem to have nothing better to do, perhaps I could go for a costume fitting. Of course, Corinne, you're right. Edith, I want to come home. All the joy is being crushed out of me here. Yes, May I present to you my mother? Of course. Was Wagner really so nationalistic? Of course. Wagner was anti-Semitic. That's why the Nazis adopted him. Hello. Sometime. Nice to meet you. Won't you join us? Thank you. But let me tell you something. Jews know best how to conduct Wagner, because only they can show the tender human feelings in his music. Deep in his soul, he was so human. Only his mind was so German. <laughs> what religion are you, may I ask? Abba Mutter. Sanderson. Okay. Yes, such a pity. I was, uh, I was wondering if we could talk about your role, perhaps over coffee. Music should be rehearsed, not talked about over a coffee table. Poor Wagner. Tannhäuser was a terrible failure when he conducted it here, and now it's going to happen again. At least he had over a hundred rehearsals. We have only 20 days left. But with bureaucrats pretending to be artists and artists behaving like bureaucrats, honestly, Edith, it's impossible. Maestro, will you sign our petition? What about working conditions? They affect you too. I've already talked to the management on your behalf, but it wouldn't be right for me to sign anything. I'm sorry. Please, give me the paper. Edith, I'd really like to kill this woman. Good morning, everybody. Why hasn't the safety curtain been rung up? It's no longer on the computer. It was your decision. Why isn't the safety curtain up? I am not responsible. Thomas! Why is the curtain, please? I can't, sir. It's a gentleman. Just do it! C'est Santo qui vient de me C'est dangereux, dangereux, tu entends Tu sais pas ce que tu fais. Je suis le seul autorisé à toucher cette manette. Tu recommences et je te casse les deux bras, compris Tout le monde, bonjour. Nous sommes prêts Silence tout le monde. Répétition. Venus gave Venus and Tannhauser on stage, please. Couldn't you just try very softly so we could clarify a few things No. What do you mean now? If the maestro asks you to sing, you sing. You sign the contract. We are also paying you for rehearsals. So sing, my dear. Now listen, he has a sore throat. He's been ill for days. Why haven't you seen a doctor? If I say I can not sing, I can not sing. No. You tell me a lying. No, nobody said you were lying, Mr. Schneider. Yeah, he say he called a French doctor to control me. I know better when my voice is in flames. Look, yeah. look. Huh? Don't you use that tone of voice with me. I won't stand for your German aggressiveness. Those times are past. What times? What about you talking? What? That's it. I'm going to write to your Minister of Culture right now. Maybe he'll be interested in how you behave. He's dirty pig! He report me! Herr Schneider, the Culture Minister gives it me. We have no time. Did you say? Did you say dirty Frenchman? Dirty fuck, what I say! Dirty, dirty, fightly, faggot! 
Nazi. No. He's a Nazi. They are all Nazis. I'll kill you. I'll kill you, bloody communist Nazi. I'll kill you. I'll kill you, bloody communist Nazi. Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. He's a Nazi. They are all Nazis. I'll kill you. I'll kill you, bloody communist Nazi. Nazi, Jews, faggots, ugly Germans, filthy French, lazy Poles, dirty Spaniards, of the hate each other, Catholics, Protestants, and Jews, East and West, West and East, North and South, South and North, boring Belgians, ugly Germans, dirty Spaniards, of the hate each other. Cold Swedes, stupid Poles, greasy Greeks hate each other. That's dirty communists, dirty fascists never speak to one another. Shitting Czechs, lazy Latvians, angry Austrians, cheese faced Swiss, bloody British, belly Norwegians, drunken days, Dorian, Dorian, Hungarians, bloody British, drunken days. Czechs, Czechs, crazy Greeks. <laughs> oh God! How oh, they, they hate each other. Why don't you finish mine? You know, I'm a watch out. I never leave food. Yeah. I want to tell you, you have the most beautiful voice I've ever heard. Then why did you say I was going downhill and was too old to play Elizabeth? Never said anything like that. You also said I was a cold lesbian. Among other things. Who told me that? <laughs> Perhaps it's better you don't know. Did they tell you what I'd said about you? No. It's a pity. <laughs> Say something now. <laughs> no. But I'm going to watch you very closely from now on. Tell me, what is our Tannhäuser going to be like? I don't know. Then. I'm not sure about Von Binder's vision. What I think is, if we sing with true passion and real understanding of Wagner, we could stand on an empty stage wearing raincoats. <laughs> raincoats? Yeah. Oh, What's wrong? I'm going to be late. I'm late too. Think I'm too old to run? No. Everything moves so slowly here, apparently due to democracy. Nobody seems to really care about this Tannhäuser. Only Miss Anderson, perhaps. She has the energy of a beginner, although I hear she may soon be a grandmother. But I can't get the orchestra to play together. Every day there are new frustrations. Today, the chorus went to demonstrate against the principle of recorded music. Thank you, Jean. Mr. Gabo is very sorry, but Mr. Picabia hasn't signed the docket yet. Dear Mr. Picabia, conditions in the opera Europa make creative work quite impossible. People here pick up the salaries but seem unwilling to do anything in return. Except me, of course, since I have not yet been paid anything. <coughs> Delete that last sentence, please. I refuse to offer the public some under Rio's pantomime. Bravo. 
unless you agree to create conditions for normal work within the next two days. I intend to break my contract under clause nine and leave the country immediately. Sincerely, you will sign it, etc. Shall I see signed it? Me. S-Z-A-L-T-O. Miss Anderson, your mail, Monsieur Santo. What is it? It's because everyone suspected me. You can phone him from my room. You know, it's not quite so easy for me. Why? I have two sons, but no other commitment. Good Would you like to use the phone? I understand what you told me. Please don't be afraid. I'm not going to ruin your life. Miss Malikoff, for you. Yes, Miss Malikoff? No, Miss Anderson and I were just rehearsing. Mr. Pikabia, no. No, it's never too late for me either, if it concerns the production. I think it, it can wait until tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow morning. Thank you, Miss, Miss Malikov. At the reception. Good night. I'm sorry.
sponge it off for you. Yes, Miss Angela. <laughs> I know what it's like to be so young and ambitious. I don't blame her. Yes, this is Miss Anderson. Do you please not send any further phone calls to my room tonight? Thank you. What they? They're the men in my life. He's going to be a doctor, like his father, and he's in publishing. No music. They're both tone deaf, just like their father. my turn to rehearse. Just another ten minutes, five minutes. No. French artists are as entitled to rehearse as foreigners. If there is any more favoritism, the whole production will suffer. Please, go ahead. I wasn't talking to you. I'm here because, because it's my turn to rehearse. Good student. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's my turn. What? Do it. Is it nice, no? <laughs> <laughs> I wish we'd met 20 years ago. If only I'd known you. To have loved like this for 20 years. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I make up for it. I don't want to be away from you for another minute. What are you doing? I want to put a distance between us. I want to see if I can bear it. I have to go away for two whole days. I have a concert in Budapest. Zoltan, come with me, please. I have to work. It's important to me. I can't mix up my work with my private life.
I rang my sons yesterday and talked about you for a very long time. They want to meet you. I'm not as free as you are, Karen. Freedom is inside. In here. Mr. President, may I introduce Maestro Santo to you? Hello, Mr. President. How are you? Fine, thank you. My wife. What do you say, Mr. President, to the accusation that your company is helping to destroy the rainforest? I have children and grandchildren. Why would I wish to destroy their future? For the most part, we use replenishable stock, and for every tree we cut down, we plant two new ones. How do you like Paris, Miss Anderson? I find it more beautiful than ever right now. Pourquoi maintenant? Because it's raining. Is it true someone called you too old to play Elizabeth? Do I look like an old woman? <laughs> Wonderful woman. I knew her when she was just 21. She has already ruined several conductors. Nazi Sato was crazy about her. Of course, she might be good for your career. Did you have affairs with other conductors? Yes. More than one? Two. Was Ignacio Sato one of them? Yes. Nozio was a wonderful man. The most gentle man I've ever known. I don't know how talented he was. I don't know if he was original, as people say, but he knew everything about music. He was fantastic. So, what's wrong? It worried me that he was so much older. We were together for very long, but I was happy. Sultan, what is it? I can't compete with you. My God, what are you talking about? You know, I'm nothing, Ansel Sato. I can't give you what I gave you. I'm not good enough. How can you say that? It's not true. Yes. <laughs> Is true. One day you know, one day you'll realize there was nobody. A man without talent. I thought I could tell you everything because I loved you. I didn't mean to hurt you. It happened such a long time ago. It's, he's been dead for ten years. It's all gone. Do you go to bed with conductors just to make sure that everything revolves around you? You are my greatest love, even if you don't believe it. I love you completely. I loved Inazio in another way. He taught me to be tolerant and gentle. Before I met him, there wasn't much gentleness in me. He was the first man I accepted, knowing he belonged to another woman. moment to tell you the truth I'm not very happy you know sometimes I think I'm working in a madhouse nobody seems interested in the music only in their personal affairs I'm very sorry to say this but it's true I'm not even sure there will be a production of Tanerita maestro I demand that you dissociate yourself from this interview at once otherwise excuse me yes Servus kitchen, mon dom. 
Hagyja a kutya eléden a felső polcon van. Kinyitod és megmelegíted. Szervusz. Legyen szíves, mondja meg, hogy Ágos... I never expected the fellow Hungarian to be so ungrateful. Making false accusations, calling this great institution a methods, abusing me. Stalinist methods like that might still be acceptable where you come from, but this is Paris. Paris! Excuse me. Yes. Abba a zöldtálba, amit szeret. Hülye. As I've yet to receive any of my fee, Mr. Gabo, I'll go and say what I like. Oh, so that's your problem. Why didn't you say so? Sit down. There is no need to plot against me. I'm not plotting against you. Dear Maestro, if you need money, I'll be delighted to lend you as much as you need. That journalist is a friend of mine. When he rings, you just tell him to forget about the article. I've worked for 30 years to build this place up. And all the time, every day, problems, pressures, attacks, either the artists or the money people. Me, I'm like a stupid Tannhäuser caught in the middle. And I have to sing to bank managers, sponsors, trade unions, ministers. Without me, there is no music. What happened? She stood on a nail. Look, there are nails all over the stage. I swept the stage before the real, so I promise. There were no nails then. So how can they be there now? You murderer. Why has the rehearsal been stopped? Look, there are nails all over the stage. Unless it's swept properly, the dancers will go on strike again. Monsieur Tailleur! Why wasn't the stage swept properly? It's your responsibility. Put the ballet carpet down again. Why can't the computer do it? <laughs> déroulez, déroulez, tirez, déroulez, déroulez, tirez. Oh, ah! oh don't touch him, his legs broke. <laughs> Oh, Miss Anderson cannot possibly go to Budapest for two days. There are only ten days to go before we open. There's nothing we can do. She signed the other contract before she signed ours. Nobody told me. But if he can guarantee that the artistic quality of the production won't suffer, it's your responsibility. If Miss Anderson can promise to be back at ten Monday morning, it's all right. Very well. Then that's your decision. I want it in writing. All right, now. all right. What's next? We need a new prop man. Edith, it looks as though I can come home for the weekend. Miss Anderson has to do a concert in Budapest, so there won't be any rehearsals. Edith.
so beautiful, <laughs> my dear. Everything I've heard about you is true. Only once before in my entire life have I heard Schumann sung with such passion Mother. and feeling. You see, when I was a young girl in Vienna, Mother, I... Miss Anderson, you were wonderful. May I introduce my wife? Hello. Hello. My uh, other sister. Hello. My mother-in-law. Hello. My daughter, Agnes. Hello. I enjoyed your concert so much, Miss Anderson. Thank you. I'm afraid I have to get back to the hospital. I operated on a young girl this morning and I want to see how she is. Of course not. You're very beautiful, Agnes. Just like your mother. You have a very beautiful family. Excuse me, Miss Anderson. Miss Anderson, keresem. Edith? Igazatot felajánlottál. Később elmondom. Most anyámhoz megyek. I'm sorry. They wanted to meet you. It was a terrible mistake. It wasn't a mistake. What do you mean? I told you once I wouldn't ruin your life. I want to keep my word. Yes, but I love you, Karen. I know. But I can't live a double life. I don't need an affair. I can't spend my life in hotel rooms waiting for the phone to ring. I need to work. Yes, but now I'm here. Only because you're afraid. You don't know what to do, Zoltan, and I can't help you. I don't want to make you do something that you'll later regret and hate me for. When you know what to do, you'll do it. No, please go. Come. Please. No. No, please go. Anderson kisasszonyal szeretnék beszélni. 425-ös szoba. Igen, de nem veszi fel. Talán valahol más út van a szállodában. Jó rendben, kérem, próbálj meg újra. Nincs jól a kislány. Most el kell mennem egy fél órára. Most? Beszélnem kell Anderson kisasszonynal az operáról. Fél tizenkettő. Tudom, de reggel elutazik. Miért nem hívott fel a telefonon? Valami baj lehet a telefonjával, de tudom, hogy ott van. Bele szerettél? Rögtön éreztek. Ne kiabálj, felébreszted a gyereket! Agnes, jelek ki, apám mondani akar neked valaki! Mi? Jó! Agnes! Edith, please! Say goodbye to you. Say goodbye to your father. Goodbye. You're terrible. Me? You bring your missus here. You introduce me, us to her. And there we are, smiling at each other, just like now. Why do you want to do this in front of the child? I wanted to see what her father is really like. I wanted to learn. 
No, she is not going. She's staying. Or do you want us to leave? Stop shouting. We can talk about it. Talk? You never talk. You're so cold. You don't have any feelings. You know why? Because you're not interested in me. You go to sleep in my concert. You only care about that hospital and maybe Dr. Zabo. You're mad. You think I don't know? Let's do it. I love Karina Nelson. I love listening to her singing. I love making love to her. She's fantastic. She makes me feel alive. Alive? There are people in the more more alive than you are. You soon be crawling back here when that hole throws you out. You will be bleeding on your knees to get back into my bed. You will be crying for your child. Get out of my home! Just get out. I never want to see you again. De elmegyek. Add ide a kulcsot. Nem adom. Add ide a kulcsot. Nem adom. Nem adom! Elkedett, mint egy huligán. Nézek kérem, én a Magyar Köztársaság érdemes művésze vagyok. És így viselkednek az érdemes művészek? Ma este vissza kell mennem Párizsba, erre államközi szerződés van Magyarország és Franciaország között. Nő volt az illető, akivel beszélni akart, ugye? Kárl! Kárl! Bonsoir, monsieur. Et qu'est-ce qui se passe? Vous avez vos papiers? Sorry, I don't speak French. What are you doing in Paris? I'm conducting tenors at the Opera Europe. What's all this about uh, a woman? With our production, the French will like the part. We have some of the best singers in the world. Yeah. Karen Anderson is playing Elizabeth, and What also um, well, many others from all over the world. Oh, thank you. You sign a petition. What is it? The orchestra and chorus want to protest about a sponsorship deal with the Eurogreen. We don't want anything to do with a company which is destroying the environment and threatening the future of our children. We are also worried about the threat by the Deep Green Liberation Front. It has nothing to do with it. It's a matter of principle. No, my strength. Okay, how about chair, please? Have you seen Miss Anderson? No, I haven't. Hasn't she left a message? No. Not even for Picabia. Uh, Mr. Picabia has gone home to Barcelona. His wife has had another nervous breakdown, the third this year. It's her way of terrorizing him. Either that or suicide attempt. Perhaps Miss Anderson isn't her dressing room. I'm sorry, French. Just a second. Karine. No, 
not together. Playing like children. It's an insult to Wagner and to me. This is a world famous orchestra. We have been conducted by Carian and Bruno Walter. Neither of them complained. It's not French music. We want to play a French version much softer. I think you should apologize to the orchestra, Maestro Santo. Otherwise, we will have a disaster in our hands. Maestro Santo. Maestro? Even if I fail. You won't fail. I know you won't. I can't seduce them. Yes, you can. You seduced me. Santo, if you refuse to go on with the rehearsal, you are breaking your contract. I'll sue you. I'll ruin you. Come back immediately. I demand it. May I say something in Hungarian? Meet. Say something. What would you like me to say? Tell me what we're going to do after Paris. Oh my 
Look, look what we have here, Moss. Moss. Oh. <laughs> 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 Please, you must have some more. I could have that every day. Very special yeah. pasta. Uh, big um, amount of pasta for your big American Mamusha! 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 Oh, Hans, you promised not to do it. Hans, wake up. Hans, oh God, what are you trying to do to me? Hans! Сердце мне там мило тоска, сердцу без любви легко, дети от завису легко. This was Stalin's favorite song. Malikov sings it very well. It's a pity that the family didn't encourage her when she wanted to be a singer. It's such a shame. So many talented people, a really excellent company. How wonderful to see them together. Our tannhäuser will be a triumph. Listen, you should warn Taylor about his behavior. Why? He came here to sing, not to get involved in complicated love affairs. Okay, consider it done. He's afraid of the opening night. It's always the same. Sultan, look at me. I want all of you to know that you're sitting with one of the greatest, most talented conductors in the world. I have worked with many conductors, some of the greatest. You all know what Ignacio Sartre meant to me. But I have the same respect for this man here. You understand Wagner better than any of us. It's a privilege to have met him and been able to work with him. I admire his integrity, his talent. He's a genius. And you should all kiss his hand the way I do. Why are you doing this to me? It's so easy to say he's a genius. And a day later, not talented enough. Not original enough. What is talent? Tell me. Tell me what is talent! You change your mind every day about who is or who isn't talented. Just let me work. I only know that I'm not talented without you, that's all. You don't believe me when I say you're wonderful. You don't believe so many people can admire you. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we must apologize. We are both slightly drunk. And... We are all slightly, completely drunk. <laughs> we are all admire you. We are all talented. That's <laughs> Ravnia. <laughs> Mishka! <laughs> End of a love story. No. What are you ashamed of yourself? You know that I love you, but you haven't the courage for it. 
That's why you gave that little performance in there. You made me look ridiculous. I tell you, it works, doesn't it? It's fantastic. Yeah, no, yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, like, you know, I... Why he on television? I first time, sir. You had a sore throat. You asked to be replaced by him. Excuse me. Where are the rest of the cars, please? Maestro, they have a recording session today, but we'll brief them. There won't be any problem. Madam, those who are not here today need not bother to come back tomorrow. Hans, will you rearrange the cars, please? I'll go to the back. You, balcony. I'm sorry, but I'm not standing up there. I have agoraphobia. Maestro, don't make me... Do Get up there! No! All right, if this lady is not outside the building in 30 seconds, there will be no Tannhauser with me. You have no right to do that. You must have respect for us. First, I have respect for Wagner and for myself. Get off the stage, Mr. Tusco. No. No, Mr. Tusco. Once and for all. I've had enough of these disruptions. If anyone disagrees, they should leave the production right now. For those who wish to stay at one from 25. Wait a minute. On whose authority are you throwing out people of this company who've been here for 25 years? Do you want to hear an opera, don't you? The members of this institution, the management, the orchestra, and the chorus, are no longer willing to work with you. Isn't that true? Come on, speak up. I've heard nothing but complaints. Herr Leuchter, ja bitte. We all respect Maestro Santo. Mr. Pertnoy. Yes, um, well, personally, uh, I have nothing against him. Richard! You promised never to call me that. I told you I'm Delphine, and that's the end of it. Bitch. Now listen to me. I want to present Mr. Franz Wienvogel from Gelsenkirchen. Mr. Wienvogel is willing to take over as conductor in this very difficult situation. Mr. Wienvogel is an expert in Wagner. I'm afraid the orchestra doesn't wish to part with Maestro Santo. Wish! Perhaps we can discuss this after the rehearsal. There is no rehearsal. There is. Act one. There is no act one. Out! Oh! Who dare you? Al oh, Santo! What do you think you're doing? Oh. I'll make you pay for this. If there is no broadcast, you'll pay. Yes. You look ridiculous. Maestro. Get up. What happens? Lights come up slowly. Let's do it.
Here's your cash note. But I'm afraid it still hasn't been countersigned. Come back tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow. That's not my fault. Call Mr. Gabo now and tell him that Maestro Santo is just about to leave the building and catch a plane. Jean? Yes? Mr. Santo is here. I understand. There, your money. It wasn't my fault. Only after opening night, never before. <laughs> Your own superstitions. <laughs> you only drank once before a first night. A sip, <laughs> remember? The opera was a disaster. But you know, if I don't have a glass of whiskey before an opening night, it's also a disaster. Maestro Santo, you haven't met my husband yet. Thanks, you yes, very Maestro, my wife here. Nice to meet you. Hello. Maestro Hi. Santo, may I introduce my parents? Nice to meet you. My wife. Nice to meet you. Maestro Santo, my wife. Nice to meet you. Miss Anderson doesn't want to be disturbed. Tell her I just want to apologize. Please tell her that. She says there's no reason to apologize. She wants to be left alone. Let me give her the floor once at least. I'm sorry. She's not letting anyone in. Not even Mr. Recavia. from New York. What was I supposed to do? You should have told him. Either you love me or you don't. I can't live a double life. Stop it, Hans. Just stop it. What do you want? I... Oh, God. I feel so alone. That's because you only ever think about yourself. Always. Always. All right. Always. 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 I don't care Always. Jesus, I'm losing my voice. I'm losing my voice. You killed me. Hello. Can someone give me a doctor? Oh, good. Oh, good. You just be happy. They've lost my voice. They killed me. They killed me. Conducted by Zoltan Santo. Thornhäuser, Stefan Schneider, Wolfram von Essenbach, Eschenbach, Elisabeth, Karin Anderson, Finus, Maria Karwieski, Krawiecki. The president's here. Raise the safety captain. Michelle is not here yet. What do you mean, is Someone else yet. has to do it. I don't know what's happened. Come on, what are we waiting for? They're broadcasting. <laughs> He's got the key to the switch box. No, that's not possible. The key cannot be taken out of this building. The porter must have it. Safety curtains in Monsieur Tailleur's responsibility. 
Nobody else is allowed to operate it. Jesus, Maria, you can't do it to me. Someone's got to do it. A thousand francs. Ten thousand. Who'll do it? I will. Leave him alone. Stop it. Thank God. What are you waiting for? Raise the safety curtain. I can't. My union declared a national strike from noon today. France, uh, I just come from a meeting. I could not do anything. Good for nothing, bastard. Son of a bitch. What are they trying to do? Do you want to ruin everyone? I'll break your balls! What's happened? Answer me, you silly bitch. You are a silly bitch. I don't know what's happened. I love her. I've worked here for 45 years. I know everyone by heart. I begged for us to be made an exception, but I've never in my life broken strike. Uprising my life. But I cannot betray my fellow workers. I can't. I just... You don't love music. Music? Who cares about music here? Let's perform it in front of the safety curtain like a concert. Have you gone completely mad? <laughs> if we go out there and sing it with true passion, you will say more about Wagner, more about us, than any big performers. If we are good, we could be anywhere, wear anything. We could wear raincoats. If we're bad, it makes no difference what we wear. Raincoats, after all this. Yes. She's right. If they sing well, it will be beautiful. You want? I think tenors are on no stage. It's an excellent solution. This is why he wanted, I think. The American. Pick. He wanted that I destroy Wagner. Mr. Schneider, you are too good to destroy Wagner. Imagine. Huh? It's war. Okay. Bombings. Uh -huh. President, pick kaput. And you sing. You sing tenors. Uh -huh. And then? What are they doing? Don't they know that every second costs a lot of money?
Shabby. 